Hello reformers and welcome back to a special feature of Sayazin. And when we left off, we had just rescued a kidnapped girl from uh, the likes of a couple of bandits. They were actually pretty menacing and intimidating when we first got into the fight with them, but thankfully we were able to prevail because they're all cowards and they all ran away from us. So that's fantastic. Now, I have returned, as you can see, to Zayild and we're going to be giving news back to the guildmaster that we were successful and relations with the town have increased we gained a little bit of renown which is pretty good and a you know couple of pieces of cora i guess my friend wished he could give more but paying that ransom brought him to his knees ah <laughs> yes um hmm, you don't need really need to worry about that i didn't steal it or anything i totally have it you know with the bandits and i didn't kill them and steal the money at all no that did not happen. Anyway, we're gonna just take as many pieces of these of, the, of this loot that we can and sell it. I mean, I like this club quite a bit, so I don't really think I'm gonna be using anything else. So, I mean, I'd like to use a two-handed, if at all possible. I think that would be pretty fun. I'm gonna keep the glasses because they're hilarious. But yeah, there's 319, that's nice. Oh yes, I should also mention, I stopped at a nearby town. I believe it was... Where was it? Was it actually? I think this has actually just been taken, but yes, I think I stopped by here because that was right next to Mauranda, which was the village where we rescued the kidnapped girl from. And I stopped here and I went into the tavern. And I was just like, oh, yes, must try and find a ransom broker, perhaps, because I do have a couple of prisoners. And I ran across a companion. This is the companion in question. And she has nothing much to speak of, with the exception of six leadership so she's very very good in leading people but unfortunately she's not very strong as you can see there she only has four strength so it seems like we're going to have to work with her to get her as high in level as we can and of course i've just sold a bunch of armor and things that i probably could have given to her so that's that's my bad but that's fine because we do need to go into the tavern here maybe we can find a couple of people i'm gonna actually get this guy and get him to join us and I'd, I'd like to try and maybe use something similar to what the pikeman slash two-handed weapon users in this mod will use because according to the changelog and the description of this mod spearmen and pikemen are generally much more effective in this than they are in other mods so i think that would be pretty cool to find out whether that is indeed the case anyway there's this group of particularly troublesome bandits. Ah, yeah, I'll hunt down those bandits. <laughs> oh, that's not going to happen. That is really not going to happen anytime soon. They are absolutely awful to track down. And I... Oh, there's some. Yes, I found some. Very good. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what we want. I was very surprised to see them there. I mean, I thought to myself, oh, yes, it's, it's nighttime at the moment. So, obviously, our view range is much decreased. But, thankfully, we were able to, you know, get to daytime by the time, you know, they were trying to run away from us. So, pretty good, pretty good. Thankfully, most of our units actually do have pole arms of some sort. And, thankfully, this mod does make them a little bit more effective than normal. So, hopefully, we're going to see some damage. Oh, yes. I'm a bit worried about these enemy units actually having muskets because, oh, they do. They actually do have muskets. This is not good. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to use the trees here or anything. It's not dense enough for that, but maybe we'll be able to just obscure their view a little bit. Uh, knowing my luck, I'm probably going to get absolutely massacred and get killed in one hit through some sort of headshot. But hopefully we're going to survive. Ooh, that guy actually did survive. Okay. Yes, yes, charge. Keep charging, fellows. Oh, my. Okay, this is not good. As you can see, they're actually very well entrenched on that on that hill over there. Oh my. Okay, I'm going to come over from the side here. Maybe I can strike a bit of a decisive blow here and maybe cause them to rout relatively early in the fight. As you can see, though, the main problem with musketeers is their long reload time. If we sacrifice a bunch of units, of course, I mean, that's what we've had to do so far to actually get anywhere here. Kill him. Yes. Yes, take that. 
I have advanced to level three. Thank you very much. Okay, can I can I get a couple more kills? I have no ranged weapons, unfortunately. So obviously that's going to uh, that's kind of going to put a bit of a spanner in the works, you know, because I'll be unable to. Oh, I could I could actually pick up this guy's flintlock and cartridges. <laughs> oh, this is this is amusing. Okay, so let's see if I can. Oh, well, there's a guy. Yeah, my proficiency is so low that it is just not even worth it, probably. But I decided, hey, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's try it out and see if I can get anywhere with it. But uh, there seems to be someone over there. Let's see if we can... Ah, he, he did manage to route. But obviously, I think it would be almost impossible for us with such a low proficiency to get any kind of kill there. Anyway, two kills for us. Not bad couple of prisoners there as well and a little bit of renown to boot not bad all right so bent cartridges whoa look at that you get plus 40 damage just from having bent cartridges can you imagine if they weren't bent that would be crazy good oh well never mind okay so there you go that's nice okay so hopefully we'll be able to equip Zahira with some rather wonderful gear. I mean, what's she wearing? She's wearing a peasant tunic, which is actually better than what I have right now on myself, which is hilarious anyway. so And she's using a saber, which is actually better than the weapon I just got. So seems like she has much better equipment than we previously thought. Anyway, is, is that task done? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Okay, there you go. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether the mod has done something to make it a lot easier to track those bandits down, because usually, in every single mod, any time I've gained that task, it's always given me problems. Could just be me, could just be, I don't know, maybe the map speed. I think probably the map speed is helping us. Anyway, there we go. 70. All right. Uh, hmm. Deserters. That might be bit difficult. That might be a bit difficult for us, so probably not going to be able to. But anyway, I'm going to go back to Kalahar here, because what I'd like to do is either sell our prisoners, or I'd like to be able to buy a new weapon for myself. I mean, here's the thing. What are my stats cur Oh, yes, I have leveled up. So, what are my stats currently like here? I don't have any in athletics, because look at my agility. It's utterly pitiful. Really, really awful. But... That's the thing, what do I want to do? What do I want to decide to do? Because obviously, if I continue putting points in intelligence, then it would only make sense for me to get some surgery eventually and just basically make myself into an intelligence-based character. But, if I don't want to do that, and if I want to spend points in prisoner management, or if I want to be better at fighting, then obviously, athletic skill would probably come in mighty handy. So, I think just as a general rule, we should probably have a decent amount of athletics and agility anyway. Because, you never know, we're probably going to want to ride a horse at some point as well. So, let's get our polearm skill up a little bit. Just a little bit, and then we'll just get, uh, you know, the rest into two-handed. That seems good to me. Alright, so, it seems like, oh, unfortunately, I will not be able to recruit anyone from there. So, hopefully, we'll be able to sell a couple of people at Kalahar. Ooh, there's actually a tournament here. I'd actually quite like to participate, but you know how it is. <laughs> yes, you know how it is. I'm very, very bad in terms of my skills at the moment. Proficiency is very low, and in general, I'm probably not going to be able to do too much. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so pris prisoner trading and slave trading and all that sort of thing, that is very lucrative. Because these are just bandits and regular looters, and 558 Cora for 8 prisoners, that's really good. So, I'm happy with that. And do, do you actually sell? No, you don't sell slaves or anything like that. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so I suppose with that 558 Cora, it might make sense for us to participate in a bit of a tournament. Actually... Ah, okay, I think I may have made a slight error here, because I'm not entirely sure if I have full HP. I do! Oh, okay, what? Oh, this is, this is very, this is very strange. Is this a one-on-one? -on -one? Okay, I'm very surprised. Okay, I'm actually kind of happy about this, though, because that means it might be a little bit easier for me. All right, so 33 participants remaining. I don't actually know 
who we're up against. It doesn't tell me. So that's uh, that's new. Okay, so I've been given a pole arm. Not particularly happy about that, i got to say. Yes, yes, deal damage to him. Yes, he has a beard. And... <laughs> And pants. Oh, that's that's certainly a reason to take him out, of course. Okay, tier three. Doesn't even tell me, so 18 participants remaining. I have a cutlass. Looks like a cutlass to me. Maybe something like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. We are absolutely beasting these veteran fighters right now. I'm really happy that the tournaments are not too difficult, because I know that there is a temptation when you're creating a mod to make tournaments really, really difficult or challenging or whatever, but it's really nice actually to see that this tournament in particular is not too difficult because in the grand scheme of things, you don't really want your player to become frustrated by one of the entry level tournaments, right? So this is what you do. It's pretty cool. I like that. And I mean, you don't have to be completely fantastic at fighting to win, and you don't have to be the worst to lose. So I think that's pretty nice. Anyway, fight in the next round. Ooh, hello there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be a little bit careful. Oh, yes. A little bit careful. Yeah, there we go. Swordswoman. Oh, uh, it's just as well she did not have a sword. She had a staff instead. Very good. That is good for me. All right. So fight in the next round. I have a two-handed... Who? <laughs> okay. Yes. Two-handed, which I just used to win instantly. Oh, tier seven. I th actually thought tier six was going to be the final round, but no. Seems that like it seems like there are more rounds. All right, let's do it. Okay, another two-handed. Oh, she has a two-handed as well. This is not good. Oh, this is not good at all. Oh yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, very close. Very close indeed. I was very worried, actually. Yes. Okay, so fight in the next round. I have a cutlass. She has a cutlass as well, I think, or something along those lines. Maybe a kopesh or something like that? No, well, never mind. There you go. We are winning. They seem to have relatively low HP, so that's pretty nice. Three participants still remaining. What do we have? So a two swordswoman remaining. Okay, so that's... I guess that's fine. Who's the other one fighting, though? Okay, so I guess nothing. Well, there you go. It seems relatively easy to win, at least. I mean, they're much more difficult than... What? I... Is it... Is it? Is this bugged? I'm not entirely sure, but three participants remaining still? Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. There we go. Take that. Should I stop betting? Should I stop betting on myself? Because, I mean... Uh, okay, I'm going to stop betting on myself, and I'm just going to see whether that makes any difference. It doesn't seem to, because we have three participants remaining still. So, I, I mean, I'm winning. I mean, you can see that, right? So... <laughs> oh, no. I think it might be a bit of a bug. Three participants remaining. I don't think it was meant to have an odd number at the end, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. I I mean, I guess I can keep trying, but I somehow don't think this is going to rectify itself, which is a real shame because the mod was looking very, very polished before this. So, uh, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Because, as you can see, the unique animations when they actually die are really, really nice. Because you saw there, I stabbed in the previous round with my sword. And and then she sort of, like, grabbed her stomach. I thought that was pretty cool. But, anyway, three participants. Ah, uh, well, I seem to have found a bug, everyone. Yes, seem to have found it. Unless I am just not knowing what's going on here. I mean, am I, am I supposed to lose? Or, no, I don't think so, right? Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to continue here, and I'm going to see whether I can actually make a go of this. And if I cannot, then obviously I'll let you know, and I'll have to withdraw from the tournament, which would be really sad. Alright, so, yeah, eventually I got to, I think it was tier 24 of the tournament, and basically there were still the same three participants in the actual tournament. So, I have no idea what actually happened there. I really do not. I think it's a bug, 
probably a bug, right? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> yes, unfortunately I now only have 344 and hilariously enough I would have won that tournament and I would have gained 4,000, well probably about 5,000, I mean I, I don't know whether the bug started at tier 6 or tier 7 or whether there was meant to be that many tiers but yeah, it seemed like we were going to get about 4,600, maybe 5,000 so that's really sad because I actually had quite a lot of money before I started betting so yeah I'm not entirely sure what to do now I, I mean I guess I could speak to the guild master and ask if he has a job for me what's this okay mm, yeah okay sure why not deal with the looters it's not really something that I want to do at the moment I actually wanted to purchase a new weapon for myself with the winnings from the tournament you know like this for example I absolutely would love this and I would have had enough money, but bugs, yes. Uh, okay, well, never mind. I might, I might just give myself some money, you know, in between episodes or something, just to rectify the bug or something like that. But anyway, what I'm actually going to do as well is I'm going to speak to Vashti the Second, and we're going to see if there's anything that I can do. Ooh, I can enlist. Ah, that might be pretty cool. Do you have any tasks for me? Are you sure? Aha, yes, I knew you would have something. All right. Let's do it. All right, so where, where, do, where do we have to go for this? He's currently believed to be at this place. Okay, this... Oh, yes, I, I, I knew it was going to be very far away. Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, let's do it. Why not? Let's go all the way up there. Well, it seems like things might have taken a slight turn for the worse, as you can see. Yes, this fellow is actually... Oh, he's... he's really? Bandits have just ambushed me, because I was actually attempting to get some volunteers from the nearby village. And I thought to myself, okay, what better way of, you know, leveling up a couple of volunteers by traveling towards a location, and maybe we'll be able to find a couple of bandit parties and things like that. But no, no, no. We're just going to be ambushed by a bunch instead. Now, this does have a rather fortunate side effect of us being able to take a look around one of the new scenes in the village here. And I actually really appreciate that. I mean, obviously, I haven't taken a look at any of the other scenes in any of the other civilizations or factions, if you like, in the mod. But we will be getting to that in the near future. Now, I actually have no idea where the last guy is. Because usually they come around with, what, two or three, maybe four, dependent on the quality of the bandit, I suppose you could say. But yeah, it seems like he may have gotten stuck or something. This is where we began. And I've already looked all around here, so he might be this way. Well, is, is that him? Was that the one I just killed? Yeah, that is the one I just killed. So, I don't know where the other one is. I guess I'll just search for him. Alright, so we're right outside the village where we need to go to try and track down that so-called murderer. And I ran into two vassals from the Sayazin faction. You know, the namesake of the mod itself. And I think we might actually be joining them. I think that would be kind of cool to see some additional units and hopefully to participate in some bigger battles as well as of course getting a mercenary wage so i'm going to join them i'm going to join them i'm going to see how it goes now of course this does however mean that we are now at war against one two three four four factions so obviously that's going to be a little bit worrying but let's see let's see actually what's going on here so we are currently at war against the gathan and I would assume they're, oh, yeah, they're, they're over here. Oh, no, that's the Principality of Chaldeem. Okay, so Gathan are, like, white, bluish, I guess. And then we have cyan color over there. And the Kara Shajan. Okay. Okay, so the, the, the Sayazin are actually very, very large in comparison to most of the other factions. With the exception of the ones across the ocean. 
So, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. We seem to have joined a pretty powerful faction, but I don't know whether that's really going to help us if we get singled out or something. But anyway, okay. We are now going to go into this village, and hopefully we'll get a good amount of cash every single week from our mercenary payment. All right, so let's... Ah! Okay, wait a minute now. These are from the Gathan. Okay, so apparently this used to be a Gathan thief. Well, amusingly enough, this does give me the opportunity to perhaps take something. Obviously, I'm not a vassal at the moment, but that might give me an opportunity to gain some renown and things like that, but I think it would probably pay us much more to do that when we're a vassal, because most of the garrisons in this mod seem to be extremely low in terms of the amount of numbers. And that intrigues me, because it's kind of like, well, how do you defend? How do you defend your thief if you only have 20 or so units in there? So it's pretty interesting to me for that to be the case. So I guess once we earn our right to become a vassal, then, you know, it will probably hold us in good stead to maybe try and take something almost immediately to expand the influence of the Saiyazin and, you know, go from there, I, I guess. But anyway, I need to now find the nervous man. Ugh. Yes. Is this him? He seems to be just standing here. No, that's a trainer. That's just a trainer. Uh, who's that up there? Okay, there's a... <laughs> I don't even know. There's a bunch of, bunch of people randomly standing in places, so I guess I'm just going to try and find him. Okay, so you, you remember I said, you know, a bunch of people just standing around doing not much? Well, <laughs> this is, has to be the most amusing situation I've run across so far, with the exception of the infinite spawning swordswomen that want to attack me in the tournament. But anyway, yes, Village Elder is out here in the middle of nowhere. The sun is shining, it is snowy, so he must be a bit cold, but otherwise, we have the Nervous Man right here, next to the village elder. I'm not entirely sure what they're both doing here. Maybe they're having a conversation. Who knows? Anyway, I'm looking for a murderer by the name of something something. Yes. I, okay, I come to execute the law. Yes, there we go. Okay, so let's, let's try and kill this guy, shall we? Okay, he doesn't seem too difficult, at least. Oh, he does. He actually does seem pretty difficult. He had a lot of HP right there. Anyway, do you have any tasks I can help with? No, I'm not going to get you cattle, thank you very much. That has scarred me for life, getting that cattle, that quest, all the way back in the original Native series. Anyway, there you go. So now we have to go back to Vashti the Second, and we can get some relation, and that's all very well and good. Now, before we do that, what I'd like to do is go over here. And, uh, yeah, of course. Of course, there's there's these guys. Of course, we don't really want to be... You know, you know, we don't really want to be dealing with him because he has a lot of people. He has a lot of people. But the cool thing is, I have 101. Literally, I have 101 spaces in my army. So technically, I could outnumber any of these guys. Of course, they do have some pretty decent quality units, which is the main reason why, of course, we would probably not do very well in a battle against them. And, <laughs> yeah, so speaking of a battle against them, they're probably going to catch me at this rate, which I am very surprised about. But anyway, yes, this is going to be an infinite chase, isn't it? Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.